Hey there, welcome to the fifth easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Today I want to talk about variables. What are variables? How do you declare variables? What are the types of variables and how do I know what type of variable I already have? Variables are normally declared using the keyword var in front of the variable. Although this is not necessary, it's recommended so that any web page that uses the key phrase use strict does not block an undeclared variable. Uh, it makes it easier to write secure JavaScript because without use strict, you can accidentally declare a new global variable throughout your code. Uh, usually, it's a typo, and use strict will not allow you to just randomly create a global variable out of thin air. And I'll briefly speak about the difference between uh, using strict and not using strict later on in this tutorial. One thing to know is that variables are case sensitive. Everything in JavaScript is case sensitive. So car in lowercase does not equal to car in all caps or even car with just the capital C. Variables cannot begin with a number, but they can contain numbers and special characters. Uh, by special characters, I mean dollar signs and underscores. You can even begin a variable with a, with a do dollar sign or underscore. To find out what type of variable you have, you use a uh, built-in JavaScript function called typeof, and in parentheses you include the variable you're looking at, and it'll tell you what type of variable it is. The different types of variables are string, number, object, although an array is an array, it's also considered an object, and boolean. So I have an example here, I declared var car, and I called it Toyota. In my last tutorial, I went over console log, feel free to look at that, as well as concatenation. So what I'm saying is car, so the variable car, it's going to say Toyota is a type of, and the type. So if I click on update and I run it, in my console it says Toyota is of type string, because that's what it is. Anything within quotes, even numbers within quotes, will be seen as a string. So if I actually change this to let's say 53, update and run, say 53 is of type string. If I remove the quotes, let's say 53 is of type number. I'll just undo that and leave it at Toyota. So let's look at a number here. So var rent, say 1500. And I'll uncomment this console log. It says rent is of type blah blah blah. So it'll say 1500 is of type number. We already saw this example here. I'm just going to clear the console and press run. So Toyota is of string, 1500 is of number. Fairly straightforward, right? So if you're ever working with, uh, with, with any kind of variable, you want to know what kind of variable it is, it is so that you can look up uh, different kinds of methods that you can use on it, you can use typeof to figure out what you have. Let's look at phone. So var, anything within curly braces is known as an object in JavaScript as well as other programming languages. Um, objects are very special in JavaScript. I'll, I have a, a few tutorials planned for objects, so you don't have to worry about what objects are, what you can do with them, how do you create them. Just know that anything within curly braces is an object. So you'll say phone is of type object. Let me clear the console. Run. Toyota is string, 1500 is number, and phone is of type object. Um, if you'll notice that I didn't include phone as a variable as I did here and concatenated with with a string. I included phone as a as part of the string. Uh, this is because if I call whoops if I call the phone variable just like I did here, it won't actually say phone is of type object. It'll say object object is of type object. So let's look at it. So it says object object because it's an object. You can't just console log an object. You have to call certain properties within the object, certain methods. And we'll go over that later on. I'll just leave it like this. Now, keys. As I said before, anything, uh, this it, arrays are arrays, but they're also considered objects in terms of JavaScript. So they are within um, this angle brackets. Normally it would be like one, two, three in commas. Let's do one, two, three, just, just to have something in the keys. And if I press run, let me just clear it so that it's cleared. Keys is of type object, even though it's an array. So arrays in JavaScript are objects, but they're also arrays. Array objects are are pretty special. There are built-in methods that you can use with arrays, which I will go over on later on. And now Boolean, true. They're usually true or false. This one is fairly straightforward. Let's run it. True is of type Boolean. 
So if I type in false, false is of type boolean. That's all there is to variables. Uh, and finally, I just want to go over the use strict. Uh, at the bottom here, I declared a variable called zip, and I did 10024, and I'm going to uh, log into the console. Let me update. If I run it, it'll actually give me 10024. See, I declared zip without ever defining it anywhere. So it's an undefined variable that I'm defining here without using the word var in front of the zip. Now, if I use strict, uncomment, use strict, update and run, everything else runs except here. It says uncaught reference zip is not defined because I did not define it. So what this does is, let's say, uh, for example, I'm creating a function and I accidentally, instead of typing zip, I inst accidentally type in, you know, zop equals to 500. It's going to stop it. So let's do the zip correctly. This is console log, blah, blah, blah. Clear. And let's say this is a typo. I am referencing, I want to reference zip elsewhere in the program, in the script, but I accidentally typed zop. If I press run. This runs, but zop is not defined because I didn't define it. Now, if I comment out zip, can I run it? It runs without a problem. So log, I'm just going to output it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So it outputs 500. But if I turn back, turn on use strict, and I run it, it will not run Zob because Zob is a typo and it forces the creator, you, to go back and analyze your code. So this is where use strict can come in handy. It allows, it, it forces uh, the person creating the code to be strict on what they do with their variables as well as other, uh, other strict methods to JavaScript. Uh, I would really recommend that you look at this W3Schools uh, URL here and just read through what us what use strict does in javascript and why you should use it when you should use it um, if you have any questions on variables please ask in the comments below uh, in the next tutorial i'll be covering scope of variables uh, local and global variables uh, i did this once for my c++ it's pretty similar but i'll quickly go over the different the, the scopes of the variables so that you can understand uh, why, why I'm writing code a certain way when you're covering functions later on. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net.